Hello. this right there's like eight million I, I don't know I just feel like I got so many things that I I have this massive checklist of I see I did not do that right Why is that not working? Morning, everybody. Give me one minute here to, to figure out what I need to do. I messed this up. We're just gonna do this. Okay, we're doing Battleship today. For those that don't know, again, we will reveal the card. I will place a two ship, a three ship, and a four ship. He will do the same, and then we just have to play and get those squares and see if we can sink the ships. Good morning, everybody. Smack Rat, Finding Security, Yuppie, Red Joan, Katie, Zarek, Sour. Okay. Um. Oh, I needed to do. Okay. I think we're almost ready here. to place ships. Yes, let's go. Okay. Oh uh, man, my my wires are gonna need a little untangling here soon, I think. Alright. What's up, Nico? Getting a good morning after waking up at 11 p.m. What? You're crazy. Okay. Actually, nothing on this board. Looks too bad. Ten songs probably being the worst square. Everything else, really. This is a very friendly board. Like the only square that makes me go "ugh" is ten songs, and uh, that one, it kind of depends, but usually it's not awful. We have to almost go like. Hmm. Like, you just have to kind of hope no one finds this. This one's pretty good. This might be my... That's at least my three ship there, for sure. I might even make it four, although the boss key's not terrible. Five Shadow Skulls need Zelda Deep Shadow. Three Swords, Three Boots is going to be 
Uh, probably the Giant's Knife, which is bigger wallet. And then Goron City, that's not too bad. But then you have also Ice Cavern. This just kind of requires a lot of collection. Most of them's not too bad, but it does... It can be a little tricky with the graveyard. At night. This at least forces all of the child dungeons, too. If I go three here, and four here. Now I'm forcing Shadow Fire, the Chow Dungeons, probably Forest, at least. Yeah, you're probably doing Forest here. Forest Fire, is there any water I can force? Not really. Fire, I don't know what else to really force here. Gauntlets. Something like this doesn't look too bad to me. I think. stuff. Uh, the maps is... Maps and compasses are... Uh, if I'm gonna do that, I'd probably want the compasses, because they're usually a little trickier. I could do, like, this as a two. Beating five bosses. I mean, there's Goma, easy, KD, easy... Baronaid could be a little tricky, Phantom Ganon could be a little tricky, but uh, I don't know. Five bosses. Eh. This one's tough, because it's like... Goma, KD, Morpha, Phantom Ganon. Bongo. There can be, even like Twin Robo, there can be like five easy ones. Sometimes it's tricky to get like Baronade or Vagia or something. If you don't find some of the easy ones, like if you don't find Goma, five bosses becomes a lot harder. Yo, Michael, thanks for the luck. I'm... I like the I like the overworld part of this actually honestly almost something like this just because I'm already trying to force him into a lot of temples right shadow fire there's he's gonna have three of these that's that's already five compasses that he's basically gonna have for like free so uh, I'm thinking something like this because then at least like I'm forcing some dungeons and I'm forcing some overworld these were this is kind of good too because this is um this this has to be better it just has to be because you're gonna find the trials it's just a matter of getting the, the hover over there to the golden gauntlets but here you might just never find the thing <sighs> I don't know. you're gonna find these Eh, I'm overthinking this. I think all of these are good options. I think all of them are pretty close. I'm fine. I'm fine with this, I think. Yo, Zero. Thanks for the luck. I feel like Ball always gets both Hyrule Field HPs. He does tend to find the one, uh, at least the one. The other one it could be a little tricky, but I I'm already requiring Iron Boots, so he can just sink to it if he finds it. Um, I'm, we're good with this. We're good with this. These are gonna be my ships. He's lucky. If, uh, if I lose, Ball's lucky. If I win, uh, I'm just skilled. 
<laughs> That's how it goes. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I am ready as well. You sure? Yeah, I think I am. Okay. <laughs> he didn't sound super confident about it. Yo, Serenus, thanks for the luck. Seven, eight, two, zero. Yeah, we don't, um, bagel, we don't need, uh, digits here because we, usually we only need that in modes where we don't reveal the card. Once we reveal the card, we have the seed. Uh, starting in Hyrule Field. Yes, indeed. All right, I am ready. I am ready as well. I think it's my turn. Yes, it is. All right. Three, two, one, and go. Good luck. Good luck. And we're off. Yo, remove beta. Thanks for the luck. Hello, hello. Okay, let them kill me first. Three swords is on the board, so we'll want to get this sword here. I'm mashing way too hard for this. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? How's everyone's weekend going so far? schoolwork like a normal person. Weekend is basically over. Dude, I got the whole Sunday ahead of me. Weekend is pretty chill. Nice, nice. Going out for a paddle in a few hours. It's fun catching your stream before I go out to the train. Paddle is like you're going out on like a lake or something. Exhausted Flute Choir Concert. Oh, nice. Wait, what? I perform a Scotticon at CME. Dude, that's awesome. Sounds like a jam-packed weekend for you, Katie. Just got back from a rainy cycling trip. Probably we're hoping it wasn't raining, but sometimes it depends, I guess. Like, if I'm on a, a run, a long run, and it's like a light rain, I usually don't mind too much. Had a super rough weekend, we can leave it at that. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Ah, Serenus, the one trick that they don't want you to know. Quit job, quit school, permanent weekend. Out on the ocean, I live on Vancouver Island, west coast of Canada. Oh, cool. Do you have like, um, is it like a kayak or is it like a, a paddle board type thing? <laughs> Gotta try it every time. Yes, I got it! <laughs> I was gonna say I have to try it every time now ever since I, I knew that that was a thing. Two Zeldas. 
It's the, it's the heavy rain that soaks you, which isn't nice, yeah. I wish I could go for a paddle, but I live in the northern part of Canada. Yeah, for you, it would, it would be uh, an ice skate a lot of the time, huh? If it's warm, I love cycling in the rain. When it's cold, absolutely. I agree. Yeah, if it's a nice warm rain, that can actually be super uh, relaxing and comfy, honestly. Got a couple swords. This is so funny. This is a loading zone randomizer. Everything ends up all scrambled up. Somehow, even with no logic, it always seems like it works out. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's very rare to be, like, trapped, trapped. More Deku. I should get a Skull, at least. Oh, the Zelda opening the gate. Yeah, that... For the people that aren't aware, when you're in the very first outer collapse you have always triggers, even if it's like in obviously a loading zone randomizer, that could be in the middle part or like the lower part, outer part. Or if you would wrong warp the Deku Ganondor, you know, and then exit, that's like the middle area. But whenever you leave, when you're in the outer collapse for the first time, it always triggers the like Ganondorf death at the top and puts you at the top. So really, that loading zone wasn't at the top. It was like midway down, and like, based on how the camera works there, that that Zelda somehow still like exists, or something like that. It's kinda strange, but you're able to trigger that cutscene at the lower door based on like, where she's at, and where the camera is, and like, where you're at in relation to the door type of thing. What's up, Mazareth? Thanks for the luck. Oh, you do it. Com you do paddling competitively. Nice, nice. What's the starting? Like, I don't. I'm. I'm imagining a race where like uh, I can't get the shield or anything. I can get the map and compass though. I'm imagining a start where you just have like everybody lined up in the water and it's just kind of chaotic at the beginning, but. I don't know. Like my only relative experience is like racing on on foot, like runs. And sometimes those at the beginning are always very chaotic if it's a big race especially. anything. I'd rather be soaked than damp. There's a certain point, if it's raining, if it's like misting light rain, I don't mind just being uh, damp. If it's a uh, middle type of rain, the first like drops suck. It just sucks. And then at a certain point, it's like, you're just so wet that it doesn't matter anymore, and then it becomes, like, okay. <laughs> so I, I, I get the point of, like, oh, might as well just be wet, you know? So we'll just leave here, I guess. I do F1 sim racing, you bet that those are chaotic starts. I don't know, like, the only races that aren't a chaotic start are, like, I guess, um... I'm trying to think of, like, uh, interval ones. Where, like, not everybody starts at the same time type of thing. Excited for my Tob match? Ooh, this is an interesting ice cavern. We'll just try and store this in our brain. I can't really do a whole lot here yet. 
Yeah, the top match, uh, I'm not, I'm not thrilled. <laughs> What's up, Fino? Thanks for the luck. Uh, okay, let's just do this. Yeah, my next uh, bingo match, I face Tob, who... I actually have one of the better median times through three matches, but Tob is, like, on another level. He's so far ahead of everybody right now. Like, he's absolutely destroying this tournament. But it's a single elimination. All it takes is one. I forget I forget in talking if I said uh, thanks for the luck, Fino, or not. <laughs> it's a water start. All line up in the water. The world is very precise and they, they have start gates. Okay. Yo, Jimmy. Hello, thanks for the luck. Yeah, sometimes there's there's times where I'm out like hiking in the woods and it's a, just a wonderful day and then all of a sudden it's like the rain rolls in and I am an hour from my car and it's like, well, <laughs> we're getting wet today. Yeah, I mean, I will typically, uh, I mean, obviously, I, I, the expectations are zero, right? Tob is gonna beat, is Tob in the chat? No, he's not here yet, okay. <laughs> like, he was watching Beta Quest a couple weeks ago, and I joked, like, oh, are you taking notes on me? He's like, maybe. But yeah, th the expectation is that Tob is going to destroy me. So I, I can go in without, you know, feeling too bad about it. As long as I play okay for, you know, what I'm gonna do. Uh, a loss to Tob is not, like, <laughs> anything to be sad about. Can't really do much without the shield here, but... Um... But yeah, I keep, I keep just thinking that my anti-bingos are going to blow up in my face, and so far that hasn't really happened. Um, so I'm honestly thrilled. Even if this next, even if I have a bad run, like, I've had three pretty good ones, so... Yeah, I mean, honestly, my the strategy people meme about Tob is a really good child. Like he'll pick a row that doesn't seem like it's child only, but it's really good with child only. The meme is like, oh, force him to go adult, but Tob is actually really good at adult. Like he's just really good at everything. So I think the strategy, honestly, is just get him into child fire and hope that it goes bad. Right? Like you can't give him a normalish adult row and be like, oh, haha, -ha, I gave I gave Tob adult. He's he's not gonna do good. It's like, no, he's still gonna do good. You have to at least put him in a situation where a fail could cost him like ten minutes, and then maybe you have a chance. Like that. That's all you can do. Okay, that is one dungeon done. Um, we've done a couple things here. I'm gonna farm some more money here just because we, if we would come across like the Deku Shield, we want to be able to buy it. But yeah, um. Honestly, I wasn't expecting hardly anything from this this anti bingo tournament, and I'm I'm thrilled with how I've performed in it so far. So <laughs> can't really complain. It's a cool tournament idea too. I I think it could be like it, 
It would be really interesting to if it continued and there was like a whole season of it or something somehow where like you really got to know people's strengths and weaknesses. Uh, my next match with Tob isn't scheduled yet, but there's a whole bunch of them on- I'm just gonna plug this channel right now, OOTV. OOTV is the channel. They do a ton of, like, bingo commentary and matches, where they'll put, like, both players up and discuss, like, what everybody's doing. I think it's a really cool- it's a really good, uh... Everybody should go just subscribe- or follow, follow that channel. Um... Yes, catch me. Like and subscribe, yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, it is, uh, it is... Just a really, I just think it's a, a, probably the best, like, bingo content in the OOT community. And they always do stuff on, like, the... Usually we have, like, a late summer bingo tournament. That's usually just normal bingo, but there's always a ton of matches restreamed there, too. Yeah, just tell them to extend it. I mean, it is... It is... With only, like, three or four matches, you can't really get a sense of where people's weaknesses are. Everybody just kind of assumes certain things, like... Oh, the Gerudo Valley Skulls? Yeah, no one really does that, so let's just give that, you know. But eventually, I think you'd start to realize, like, oh, some people are pretty good at that square, but maybe they're weak in some other... Like, it, it... It has a lot of potential to, to, um... Like, I think the... It, the potential of it, the more you, like, know the other racers, the better mode it becomes, you know? I still think a battleship, a vanilla game, like, in Beta Quest, I've, I've said this before. I like the battleship mode. This is probably one of my favorite modes. I think Ball likes this one a lot, too. But when it's, um... When it's Battleship in Beta Quest, it's kind of like... I'm always just gonna pick the hardest squares. Like, the things that I think are the hardest to find. Because it's not really about going and doing them, it's about finding them. Whereas if this was vanilla... It just becomes so much more interesting, in my opinion, because... I would be trying to mark the hardest squares, but Ball would know I would be trying to mark the hardest squares. So he might just go try and get the hardest squares. And in vanilla, you can you can do that. You can just go do that. So then it becomes like, do you try and do all of the hardest squares? Or do you try and do some of the like middle-ish squares? Or do you even throw in like a super easy one and just hope that he doesn't do it, right? Like, I think there's a lot of, uh, cool things you could do with a, a vanilla battleship as well. Ooh, that's a nice easy fire temple. That's kind of unfortunate for us, but still probably a long ways away from actually getting it. We still don't have choose. Which is unfortunate. That's why it's unfortunate. Okay, I know from uh, the Fire Temple we can... We, we gotta get shoes, like, right now. Thank you. Okay. And then to get my ass back there as quick as we can. To get the bombs in DC. And the shield there. That'll be nice. Uh, the command f is more bombs.
Uh, blue fire, that would be interesting. That would get me into the main part of DC, but I would still be struggling with, um... Like, I want these twos anyway. I would need multiple blue fires to break all of the things because I can't lift the bomb flowers yet. So... Uh, like, we'd have to go beat the Lizalfos and loop around and then do the slingshot skip and... Well, all of it's possible. Yeah, you're right. It, it is an interesting case where, like, I guess if somehow, like, we just could not find shoes or get shoes, there could be, like, some weird rare cases where it'd be worth... But these shoes are usually- I mean, all you need is a sword, so it's usually not too bad. This is post Baronade. I think we we want to die here. Don't know if I'll be beating Baronade or not. The shop in the market, well, the bizarre shop in the market, goes to Ice Cavern, that's good. The shop in Cookery goes to DC and Fire Temple, which is good. So the shops are good. I just need to remember that the shops are good. What about this shop? likely to be a square, but gotta click it anyways. Yo, Moose Crap. Hello, hello. Thanks for the hood luck. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have a hoodie on right now, so I have no hood luck. Um, I kind of want to buy that shield eventually, but not right now. Is this a square? There are a lot of HP squares, but not this one. This is good. This is here. No magic things on the board. Ooh, that's good to know. Temple of Time for later. In two hours, you know, when we finally decide to go adult. Okay. Wait, am I stuck? No. 
or something else. Yeah, why doesn't the stick catch fire? Here at first, shield strikes again. What else can I get here? The bomb chew chest. What's up, Tofto? Thanks for the luck. Uh, I kind of just want to use my Deku Nuts, but... Why are you... What? Slash at him, you're targeting. Come on. Yo, Kalu, thank you for the luck. Imagine flying into a fire source just to light yourself on fire and then um, attack. Might as well get the map here, too. I'm about to get... Okay. I'm about to get 20 more chews, so... 20 more? 10 more. shield. Still, we want to get back to DC and get the bombs. I could go back to Deku and get the slingshot. If I remember, I have no idea where that's at. I have to oh, there's the, there's DC.
Well, it's one of these. There it is. Might as well get the map compass here too. These are both pretty quick ones. Kind of feels like I probably... I don't know. Maps and compasses feel like... Uh, I don't know. I mean, he could be... It just sucks if it ends up being a square and you haven't been collecting them. Because then it's really tough to go back through all the temples and get them. If you haven't been keeping track of the temples. So it kind of just feels like one of those ones you just gotta get. You just gotta do it along the way, no matter what. Yo, Scooby, thanks for the luck. Yeah, that was definitely an emulator moment. That one's usually not bad either. Like, there are some that are just really gross on N64. That one's usually not too bad, but we still managed to fuck it up. Don't think I need to come back here, so I'm not gonna hit that switch. There's nothing else in DC I would want. Got the map, got the compass. We could save. Because we've already left. We've already left DC, so might as well try a new one entering DC. I mean, if you can get good at the tricks unbuffered, it's probably better. <laughs> It reminds me of how we had to do tricks before the, before buffering was even like a thing or known. It's like all the tricks, you just had to know how to do all of them. Beans? No, there's nothing. Uh, Zora's 
skulls. Yeah, okay. Is it turning night? Kind of. I think we're gonna just wait here and get this one. Sploosh. It's actually not bad timing because we have to wait anyways. easy today. <sighs> Everybody in uh, YouTube's gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Do I need beans for anything? Nah. Of course I go and find another DC. Sploosh. I knew it. I could just tell that that was a frame I was not going to get. <laughs> Yeah, that was a very, that was probably one of the fastest 150s I've done. Magic. Um. Wait, it's night. I see that skull. Let's get it.
<laughs> All right. Means of getting out of shape. I've actually been, uh, I've been running a decent amount this year. My weight is a little bit down from, like, the holidays, too. Rip my bombs. <laughs> Strange, like they felt like they had to come up anyways. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't decide where I want to go, what tricks I'm doing. the silver scale because I'm going to end up with the gold scale anyway. There we go. That's why we don't get the silver scale. Uh, I caught the loach when I was a kid, but I haven't done it recently. Look at that, I can put my scale to use. Gotta get the hover boots at least.
Uh, there are always goal recommendations, Katie. I think the loach was probably discussed a little at some point, but was tossed. Or just never really, like, seriously considered. It was, wasn't it, uh... A part of one of the OCS's? You didn't have to do it, but it was like a bingo square on a board. That some people could do if they were feeling bold. I don't actually even know what the requirements of it are. Anymore. Like, what does it take to actually get it to pop up? I know there were like three spots in the map to get the bait. Or the sinking lure. But I don't even know what makes the sinking lure pop up. So there's the sinking lore part that I don't know. There's the loach part that I don't know. But I know if you have both of those things, then you can you can get it. And even then, it's like... I think it's like insanely difficult to catch. Sploosh. off the line there's a there's a cool I mean I know there's if yeah fish get off the line there's definitely cooldowns I bet you guys have at least two identical ships I always think that there are some there is a decent amount of overlap but we I don't know the last time we had like an actual like two ships, the, two, at least two ships the same. We've definitely had, like, I think, like, the three or four ships the same sometimes. Damn it, Dobby! God, that guy's useless around here, isn't he? Any bombs bad. I'm down bad. For bombs. This was probably not worth it though. I'm not that down bad. Today I learned Dobby's a warp song. Two things that are useless around here. Yeah, I could definitely see the three ship being the same as well. That one just seems like a very obvious choice here. Dang, I wish I'd have found Nemburu Knuckle a little bit. I could have done another dungeon here in Twin Rogue. I could have beaten it, but... I have no idea where that was at. That was like, I was in the back. I was in Shadow Temple. I was in Shadow Temple. Which is really important that I remember. Oh, I know where it's at. Okay. I actually need to, I need to pause and commit that to my brain. Lost Woods to Zora's f River 
goes to shadow. How can I remember that? Lost Woods, Gold Scale Dive. It's Michael from YouTube. I'm switching to Twitch for those points. <laughs> You wanna do the heart rate or make me play a warp song? I know. I I don't know what features there are. Oh, this is good. On YouTube, if there's anything like channel points or if there's any reason to be watching in a particular spot. It's nice to have the option, though. I, I think the YouTube player is a lot better, but... Obviously, most of the chat is going to be focused around Twitch. That's just that's how it is. But the honestly, the live stream is one thing. Like it's cool on YouTube. That can be kind of nice. Um, but I will say uh, this could be good for a Pona song. I think we should do it. Ten songs. We're probably going to need all of the, the bad ones, even. Um. I will say, I, I just feel like I'm never going to get behind on Twitch up, or on the beta quest uploads on YouTube ever again. It's just like, it's already on YouTube. All I have to do is change the title. I don't know why I have the mental fortitude to change the title and like update the information and put it in like the playlist and all that. But actually uploading it is like, I just can't, I can't, I couldn't, I would get months behind. And it's like, it's not even that difficult. I, I have the local recording. All I have to do is click on YouTube and click upload. But for some reason, that barrier it was like, if I didn't do it that Sunday, and I didn't do it the next Sunday, it's it's just never, it was never going to get done. And so, uh, I would go, like, three months with no videos, and then all of a sudden, in, like, one week, I would finally just say, Okay, they're all gonna be uploaded here. Now it, it feels like it's better. It'll be every Sunday, this just, it goes live, and then it, it, it just becomes a video. I've already gone through this crawl space. So let's get caught by these guards. We need some bombs now, though. We can get some bombs. Live world. Pro Honestly, I don't understand. I don't understand what uh, a YouTube premiere is. Like, I know people can. They say like, "Oh, I'm premiering this for the first. It's like, aren't you just uploading it? I don't. I don't understand what the difference is. Okay. Well, we're just... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, shit. You can schedule a video. I know scheduling videos, but I I schedule mine for like three days in advance, you know? Is that all that is? And then I guess there's a live chat. I've never done that, though. Watch streak reached. Three stream streak. Oh, well, that gives you even more... Po Holy shit, that gives you a lot of points. Oh, a premiere already has a link and, like, a live chat thing, too. Okay. So it's kind of like being live, but it's... It's live, but it's already a pre-recorded video.
But does like everybody start playing it? I guess it's it, I guess it it starts playing and everybody just uh see like right? <laughs> like not everybody just starts playing at the same time. It it has to force that, yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah, you can't skip ahead in the video, but I obviously could go back. Okay, so it is like a live video. Oh, I might... If I ever upload some videos, I, it sounds like that could be kind of fun to do. Just do that and then chat along if people are there. If I ever, you know, upload non-live stream videos. I did a couple of those, like some highlight videos or like that, uh, that, uh... Fuck, what was it? The emote only mode video I had a couple years ago. Or like last year, I think that was. Or like if there were oh, those OCS, oh, oh, the OMSs again, maybe. Do I need Skull? No, I don't need Skull. Yeah, and then, then I can, uh, I can live chat and say, what the hell were you guys thinking? How was I ever supposed to know that three Doritos was the Shadow Temple room? I already did this. We could just jump out. Actually, yeah, let's do... Almost fell off. Let's do this. Did that, did that. I've done all of these. Oh, hell yeah. Now if we could just get Zelda and Sunsong. Those would be like the two core items left. <laughs> nice circle. I need Death Mountain. Getting the middle square here eliminates start. We're, just, we're not hitting a lot of ships right now, but that's okay. We're... We're eliminating potential future ships so we know what to go hit. I think I've been here. Yeah. Um. Oh, I should go get the slingshot. Yep, let's do it. Yep, let's, let's get the slingshot.
Um. was a lot of work. I should have known I was going to come back here anyway and gotten the map and compass this go around because like I had to climb all the way up here twice anyways. Kind of silly. Did he just mark a thing? Yeah. Sploosh. Practicing for something. Content. I guess we go all the way down to the bottom. setups that I've been practicing. Sun song would be nice right about now. Probably get the ice arrows too, just because. 
Nothing else I want in here. Actually, we haven't done uh, leaving graveyard yet. Did we? Maybe we? How did we? Yeah, we probably did. What was night? Um, I've already done this, but I've already done a lot of Hyrule Field over here. Oh, this is good. be the adult one left. Wow, this board has a ton of skull tiles. I mean, I, I kind of knew that, but like actually looking at it, it's like... Seven skulls. Just from the squares alone. I think I've done that. Let's do this. Uh, I should go do ice. Well, I don't really want to do ice cavern. <sighs> really want ice cavern as an adult because then I get a song for the ten songs. But yo, Emma, thanks for the luck. Have I done this? I can't remember. I should get the Rudos letter. Then we'll do it later. Yo, Pando. How's it going? Okay, this is new. Which means this should be new. 
We've been caught there before, so. It goes well. Enjoy your run, please. I will. Thank you. Nothing else to do here, really. Just leave again. I did when I save warped in Ganondorf's, probably. Yeah, okay. Let's take the owl. The free square on Ten Song seems likely at this point. Ten Songs are just by far the worst. <laughs> day market to try a couple more of these. Well. Third shield. Well, we're getting a lot of these, which is nice. All the mega useful warp songs you could do with six warp songs? It sounds like that would be six useless things to me. <laughs> so, a typical beta quest then, right, Serenus? <laughs> Although usually I get like one weird hit, like 30 nuts or something, Ball just decides to make a, a square part of his thing for whatever reason. Stalfos. Do you have a bug in your bottle? Yeah, I do. But I don't have any warp songs, so don't waste your money yet. I mean, I guess at this point we should just go to the top, right? Fucking... Sploosh! This is five Stalfos already. Well, assuming I don't die. You're, you're kind of... Okay, dude. I can ask Ganondorf where the light arrows are. I should do a couple more randos. Just not even like a super competitive thing. Just like 
a chill thing. The problem is, I kind of like doing long endurance, like, grueling ones. But the problem with those is, if I don't finish them in one day, it's, like, really hard for me to come back. And, and try and remember, like, halfway through. Uh, it's possible, but, like... I would struggle with it, I think. I don't know. I, I, To be honest, I haven't tried it a ton. It could be okay where I just chip away at, like, one seed over the course of, like, a week or something. Ah, uh, that's a really bad magic spot. Okay, more trials. The thing about, I've done, I had a little bit. There was a time, I forget when, it was like 2018, 2019. I was doing Majora's Mask Monday and I was doing, I did like a, a couple of MM randos and I realized like, oh my God, I just have no idea. I don't know nearly enough about MM. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. I just don't know enough about MM to do it regularly. I mean, I could continue to learn more, but like, I was kind of turned off from it. It's probably different now. I was kind of turned off from it because, like, I did all this stuff, and then I got to the baby Goron crying, and it, it, he just wouldn't give me the song. Because it was, like, glitched out or something, because of the order I did something in, or something weird like that. And it was just like, well, this sucks. I'm sure a lot of those bugs are, like, fixed by now, but... It wasn't a great first impression for me, especially because I just don't know about. What I, I, what needs to happen is I need to play MM more casually <laughs> first and like actually learn all of the sequence of what triggers what. Cause that's really the, the biggest thing, right? It's like, what triggers what? This time of day thing happened, so now this other event can happen. Like, I don't know those things. Whereas in OOT, it's always kind of just like, oh, do you have the inventory? Yes. Okay, you can go do this. In MM, it's like, oh, do you have the inventory? Yes. But did you trigger this other event thing to happen? No? Okay, then. Your three-day cycle's fucked. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I know enough about MM. I, I feel like I could potentially do it. But to me, there's just so many cool OOT rando things that I could do first that I would feel more comfortable with. Sploosh. Okay, finally, day market. Let's go. I gotta try some of these. Oh, more Stalfos. This puts me at seven. This is, this is not fair. Seven? Yeah, seven. I think you you basically need forest temple anyways. Is it possible without forest? Ah, uh, there's two on the shadow boat. That would put me at nine, and then there's one in shadow itself. Yeah, I guess I guess I don't need forest now, which is kinda nice. Yeah, that's 
Can you do two of those on your own? I know that that's a thing for like uh, multi-world, like people playing a bunch of different games, but... Off to paddling, good luck with the rest. Thanks, man. Hope you enjoy. Is Boomerang really worth... I mean, if I find Baronade, it's a good dungeon to beat. Could have just grabbed a Skull, though. Still could just grab a skull. Uh, map and compass might as well once I'm already fucking at the boomerang. Seven is a lot. That's one in every dungeon, right? I stopped working on, um... OT randos, it's been too long since I played and my hardware sucks, so it's more frustrating than it needed to be. Then I tried speedrunning. <laughs> I thought speedrunning was a better idea. Yeah, that was your first mistake. Thinking that speedrunning was a better idea. Yeah, same three ship seems likely, to be honest. Which is good, because we already have seven style posts. And we already know where Shadow is. We don't need Force. Should I go adult? What do I really need to do as a child still? I don't want to use my Deku Nuts. I mean, I don't know why. I don't need 30, but I kind of just want to keep the square. Yes, keep targeting the dead one. That makes sense, Navi. Ruta's butt just took care of all of it. I really, I need to try, there's so many markets I still need to try just in case. And ugh, we're gonna have to go do, um, we're gonna have to do Child Ice Cavern, uh, unless I can find a way to have it not be the, ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of an ugly, the problem is Ice Cavern is the Child Market Bazaar, so. Yeah, yeah, actually we should stay child to at least get Saria's. I'm not so worried about the Skull Kid, but getting Saria's song, we're gonna need songs. Or we just hope we get all the... Dude... I feel like songs is just gonna be a free square. It's just, that's, it's just gonna be... Yeah. <laughs> 
Just thinking, I'm just thinking, what else should I even do as a child besides try the market loading zones? And get Saria's song. That's really it. Uh, I mean, Baronade would be nice, obviously. Well, yeah, I could do Baronade entrance there, but I'm thinking I'll probably end up beating him and then sun songing, or finding that entrance a couple to- ooh, that's an interesting one. Although we don't even have some song yet, so I don't know. Um, I should get more of these child ones if I have a chance, because I don't want to have to make it super difficult as a goal. Okay. Um, I think that's everything here now. Oh, this one. We need to we need to get back to the market a lot. Just gotta get back to the market. Got a shield flick. <laughs> Done all of these except maybe this one. Is there any reason to get milk? Oh, I should get a bonus song too. Is there any reason to get milk bottle at this point? Not really. Shit. Um. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. This is new. Oh, we could get caught with the hook shot. Okay, there we go. That's a good one.
Dude, this guy is just per this guy is just perfect for Lon Lon. Uh, I don't have an ocarina in my inventory yet. But there's a trick you can do when the bottle is in your hand, if you're in the air and you press the bottle button, and then you also then, before you land, press something like the sword, it will play the sword like an ocarina. But in order to get a bottle in your- it's not in my hand right now. To get it in my hand, I have to interact with the bottle. Sploosh! Good thing we didn't give him the Hyrule Fear, because Ball always finds those. He, like, he has found both of those, I have found none of those. This went to the market. Let's do it again. Let's try and get as quick- we want to get as many market things done and then I think it's probably time to go adult. Saria's- Saria's markets and... The Zoras? Maybe the Zoras? Would be kind of nice. Man, not having a sub song is pretty rough. An hour and a half in. Okay, let's do... There's only three more markets now. Well, two more now. Two more markets, and then we've got... The bazaar goes to Ice Cavern, so I kind of feel like I have to at least do that. Even though I don't get the song, I get the HP and I get the boots. And then we... If we could find it somehow as an adult, that's great. Sun Songing in the bazaar or something like that. Maybe eventually back in time or something, but... For now, we just gotta move on. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I guess I gotta do this square, too. But I think I know where that's at. I hit Death Mountain Trail. Well, actually, I don't know where that's at. I was there, like, super early. It was one of the first loading zones. Did I even have a sword yet? I don't know. I need to hit Death Mountain Trail, though. At some point here. Before we go to... I gotta at least get that middle square. What bazaar is this? This might be the market one? I can't tell. I don't know the difference. If that's the case... Then we could Sunsong or die in there, potentially. I 
and then get to Ice Cavern as adult. Potentially. Hovering over the ranch in the back. That sounds like a bizarre way. Could be. Look at this angle, look at this angle. Ah, damn, almost good. I mean, nothing has indicated that Ball is an adult yet. This is new. This is also new. This is not new. Let's go back to the market. Got one more here. And that's all the markets. I think I have to do Child Ice just to guarantee I get the boots at least. Uh, white flat. We gotta die here. We gotta. Just gotta. I mean, there's really nothing I'm an adult either other than uh, my body. My mind is still like. Uh, I'd rather just sit around and play video games. I don't want any responsibilities. Why are you- why? Why are you going this- All right, this probably wasn't worth it, but should have just used four bombs or something. Cack. Hmm. I've done both of these. Have I? Let's just get caught. Stop. No, do the attack. Do the attack. Oh my god. Okay, I'm done. I'm done moving. You- there you go. Kaboom! I gotta do Ice Cavern, I gotta get Saria's, and I gotta get uh, Zora's Fountain Skulls. I don't need the Zora's Fountain Skulls, but I would like the Zora's Fountain Skulls. Oh. 
Oh, this is one I always forget. I'm gonna remember it this time, though. Just as Navi pops up, of course. And the, the Kukos are very capable of defending themselves. for stealth host but i don't actually need it other than the boss key oh oh okay i think adult is happening it's gotta it's gotta happen now how the fuck did i get to the trail there that was uh i was in cac and i did the bottom of the well shit that sucks Oh, but then I did, I did something here. I just entered the Lakeside Lab. Wait, did the Lakeside Lab take me to CAC or was it after the chain? I gotta, I gotta do this. Why not beat it right there? Yeah, good point. Could just beat it. I'm gonna need potentially Forest later, but... Still, we should have just beaten Phantom Cannon. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do this chain again. But it is bottom of the well, unfortunately. That's not a great... Well, it doesn't really matter. There are other ways to Death Mountain Trail. Bob's been taking notes on me uh, since the anti-bingo tournament started. He knows I really hate squares like three tunics. Yep, that one sucks. Would be a shame if I got that in the bingo tournament. I also, I can't stand fire boss key. Dude, you have to go do the whole fire temple to get that one. I mean, that's at least 10 minutes.
And man, it would it would be a shame if you gave me something like Defeat a Skull Kid. You always have to get a uh, Saria song for that. Really long bowl. Tob, I know you're gonna get like a 105, no matter what I pick for you. Can you just pick a row for me that I'll get a 116? Because I've been getting a lot of 116, 117s. And I just want to feel good about myself as I exit the tournament, you know? Just... Okay, this is two dungeons only? Two? Deku and... Oh, yeah, Deku, that's it. We've only beaten two, dang. I mean, I have beaten Tob in a bingo tournament before. Not in the, the bracket round, but... There is a, there's a chance. There's a chance. Anything's possible. Exactly. I, I need to just bait you into a, a child only that uh, goes horribly wrong. <laughs> it, it has happened before. Song. If I find Lost Woods, we'll do Skull Kid as a kid. I'm not worried about it, though. We can definitely do it as an adult, too. I got a Pona song. I got Sorry song. I have all of the, the main child songs now. Outside of Song of Time. But I still haven't... I, we can always go back in time if we, we have to for more songs. I kind of... I don't really want to do the Ice Cavern yet. Let's not. Let's go adult, and if we can't find it, we'll, we'll come back in time. If we, we might also get, determine our free square and maybe use that on songs anyway, so... We'll see. Um... Uh, yeah, I think I think it's time. It's time. Um, shit. I, I kind of wanted the Zora's Domain Skulls, too, but... Eh. Post-reverse draft? Yeah, we usually just try and rotate around. I don't really... There's no, like, schedule or anything. Usually, I just wake up on Sunday morning and I'm like, BQ, question mark? And Ball's like, sure, you want to do anything? Or have anything in mind? I'm like, no. And I'll do... I'm up for whatever. He's like, oh, me too. And then one of us usually just kind of throws out one or two things. And then we just decide on it. But I usually try and pick something that we haven't done in quite some time. Or like, haven't done in a while. So we're playing a battleship mode. As I get squares, I click them green. And as he gets squares, he clicks them red. 
The white stars are where my ships are located, and the yellow stars are sh are things that I clicked green and he said uh, kaboom, meaning it, it hit. Alright, we have a free square now. This is amazing, because that's almost certainly going to be on songs. But now I almost want to stay child and get the iron boots. Hmm. Decisions. Kind of want those iron boots as a kid. I mean, we're not even two hours in yet. How could we go adult? Oh, yeah, I have this. Whoops. I've had this. Hella long way to go for this. Okay. Um Yeah, I kinda want those iron boots, dude. Now if we could just get the combo meal and get the sun song too. Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm doing this thing where I'm just staying child way too long again. Because we should really be moving adult and making moves on these these squares. This one and a lot of these. But new loading zones. That's <laughs> just... And then there's, there's always an excuse, right? There's always, well, I could get these, you know? It could be good. I could get the Skull Kid, you know? Magic is good. The iron boots, I, I, it's just, there's always a thing that's gonna um, keep me, keep me a child. There are just so many loading zones we haven't tried yet. I think I've, 
I don't know if I've done this or not. Maybe. Okay. Um haven't we done? This just goes back to my house. Yeah. Nice to get Zora's domain right now, or Zora's fountain, I mean. Uh, okay, let's do this. Fuck it. Yo, Senesan, thanks for the prime gaming. Much appreciated. We're having less and less excuses to stay a child. <laughs> I could hover and get the map here too, but I think there's other maps I could end up getting, so I'm not too worried about the map. But we'll get the compass. This room's so fun as a kid.
Ha! Huh, I'm invincible. What? We have all of the same squares, except I have found zero of those HPs, and he's found both. That's just funny. <laughs> that I want to see what that other back alley at night is and this isn't perfect opportunity to do it just see where both of these go Three dungeons. I really should have just got gold gauntlets first. Because if gold gauntlets is sploosh, it's very unlikely. What? Oh my god, I'm alive. Okay, I need to just, just stop, stop doing all these things, man. Why can't, why can't I help myself? We're over two hours now. I'm gonna lose just because I get behind on uh, going adult and getting all of the things that I know I can already get. But I just, I gotta go do these things. All of the, all of the loading zones and all of the tasks and all of these things that I can still be working on. I could still be working on this. I could still get this. I could still get this. More of this. I could actually go and get this. Well, there's more of this we can do. I could spend another hour. <laughs> okay, but we need to, we need to not do that. I need to just go adult. Where was Temple of Time again? I don't remember. Oh god. <laughs> Temple of Time. Let me think about Temple of I know where that's at. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yo, Casey Kong, thanks for the luck. Oh, I guess I should do this, huh? Yep, can't help myself. Gotta go try some more loading zones. Just gotta keep trying loading zones. stuff we can do. Exactly, Twin Rover. That's the whole point, is to try loading zones. Is that four? Goma. Goma. Bongo. Baronade. Phantom Ganon. Yeah. So there's Morpha. I just saw Volvagia. We're not doing Volvagia. I would do King Dodongo if I find it. I would do. I've been in Twin Rova's room, but I don't remember where that's at. We would do that one too. I would do Morpha if I found it as a adult. And then. Yeah, King Dodongo. So there's three still, three good options left. <laughs> How did I get here? I need to know this because it's a good way to get here. If I take that warp again, I should be able to do this. Uh, Z Lake Lake Hylia, Lake Hylia to Zora's domain. Goes to Baronade's room. Easy. This would be like leaving Sunsong, which we haven't even been in yet, so maybe leaving Sunsong is Sunsong. I should have defeated the Skull Kid while... Alright. I mean, if they're just gonna put it right in front of me... Probably should have been an adult at least half an hour ago, but it is what it is. No, 
or do not get that. That would have made Skull Kid really, really challenging. We need to hit the Lost Woods before we get the chicken. I don't even need the chicken for anything. I need the tunics, but I'm not I'm not about to hover over there. It's not worth it yet. Tent goes to the market. We don't really care about market anymore. I should go do the skulls in shadow. That's just almost for sure a square, right? And then I'll get the Stalfos too, which is also likely a square. Shadow has potentially two squares. Also go back in time and get the Song of Time. Now that I've beaten all the child ones. This will be interesting, if, if we have a square up here or not. It's possible we don't. But then it's like, where else is the two square? Shoved into like here, maybe. So this is almost certainly the three. The four is probably the same. We might actually hit the same ships for once. I should have got the Golden Gauntlets first. It would have just been so much less time consuming. Than beating all these dungeons. Two ship almost gotta be, almost gotta be here. I'm trying to think like if he could have done something like two. Uh, we had done a mode where you could do a total of, I think it was, as long as you use nine, I don't think you could do single ships, but you could do, like, five, two, two. You could do the two, three, four, or you could do, like, um, three, three, three as well. Kaboom! Ball has gone adult pretty much the same time I have.
I feel like this is gonna be a close match. Hopefully it doesn't come down to those both Hyrule Field HPs, because clearly I'm not getting lows. What the fuck? I can't believe I don't have sense on. God damn it. What new squares do I even need? What the fuck? I keep trying new loading zones, but do I n even need new loading zones? I honestly can't think of too many, like, new things that I need here. Other than, like, getting Sunsong. Don't get this compass yet. Well, I can do it. I just need to RBA this first.
I mean, I have the fucking iron boots. I don't have to do this. I was about to do the ledge clip, but I don't need that. Yeah, that gets me the map in here, so... Six maps, five compasses. <sighs> okay. Mmm. Entering Water Temple. Wow. Oh, you you want me to play a warp song, do you? I hope you're paying attention right now. Ready on the screen? Watch what's happening right now. There, I played a I played a warp song. I played one. It's done. It is done. Then warp couldn't be a warp song. I played I played it. The, the thing says play a warp song. I played a warp song. It, it happened. Yo, what's up, Sean? Dobby has not been around today. You, what are you doing? Hello, Twitch police? I'd like to report a scammer? You know what's up, Garth? Thanks for the luck. Too early. The yellow hit splat means I have hit one of his ships. The white stars are where mine are located.
That is not what I was expecting there, but I don't know why. I wanted to enter Water Temple, not... I'm stupid. I mean, they're both good, but... No. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna leave me alone, and then he, he decided he still wanted some. I did want to get the skulls here, as a child, but... It's all... whatever. It's fine. It's all fine. God. Uh, we've done all of this. There was Temple of Time. We'll never know where Minuet goes. Nope. I can assure you that it is useless, though, so... Um... Oh my god. Let me get the compass real quick, and then we'll go do the thing. Okay, uh, Minuet or Bolero, I guess. Whatever, Blarg, Blarg wanted Minuet, so I guess we'll do Minuet. We'll do Minuet first. <clears throat> okay, here comes some uselessness. I was literally, I actually was just here. In the back alley. I don't have that song. Easy hub warp cope. Yeah, only if it's night.
Kaboom! Yeah, he's got the same four ship as me. It led to that kaboom. That's some copium. Wait. Oh, yeah, I gotta do it this way. Now if I find Zora's river, we can we can get that square. The Zoras. That seems likely that it could be his two ship. The Zoras and seven compasses, because there's really not too many other spots it can be at this point. This is the only one left of the main ones here that I haven't done. Hmm. Okay, we gotta get to the Lost Woods. Yes, we uh, we are we allow diagonals on our ships. Just because of the space constraints, there's just not a lot of room. Okay, this time we're going to do this correctly. We can enter the water temple. Forget where that goes, but it oh well, I know it goes to the bottom of the well. I forget where saving and bottom of the well goes though. It goes somewhere good. That seems to be my typical like I can remember that things are good. It's often I don't always remember. I have the iron boots, by the way. Kaboom! We have the same three ship and four ship, most likely. But the two ship is different. I'm too curious. I mean, this is a new chain. Well, how about that? Kaboom! Hey! <laughs> 
I don't want to get that forest boss key until I know more stuff later. Oh, kaboom! Oh! That's mm, huge. So I need to do the Zoras or the compasses, almost for sure. Yeah. Let's, um... We gotta get back to Shadow. Shadow will give me a seventh compass, I think. Yeah. Shadow compass. Shadow's three squares that are likely three... Boom. Well, no. One, two... Three... Yeah, you can have diagonals. This is gonna be a close match. It might come down to whether he can get. It's one. Of, he needs to. He doesn't know where my two ship is yet. It could be here. It could be something like. Yeah, it's unlikely to be something. Like that. We gotta get back to the Lost Woods, man. Where's the Lost Woods? Um. I gotta get Lost Woods and defeat that Skull Kid too so I can RBA and then go to Goron City. Damn. Dude, Lost Woods, man. So much of this. There's a chance this goes Lost Woods? Dude, that HP, that HP was clutch to get that second HP. Of course he would put that as a ship. Because it's like, I never find that type of shit. And yeah, it took two hours, 40 minutes to find it. Okay. We can, we can make this work. Kaboom! Oh, this is going to take a while in Shadow now. Try the seventh compass though. Yeah. 
I guess technically the compasses could be his three ship, and then the Stalfos and Ten Songs could be the other two ship. Boom! You sunk my two ship. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that gave a ton of information. Yeah, that high roll HP, that saved me a lot of time screwing around with the Zora's stuff, too. Although we, I mean, we have four of the six Zoras. But, uh, we were very lucky to find that Zor that Hyrule HP, because that's not even what I wanted to do there. I was just, I was just too curious. I had to go see. Okay, dude. Yeah, he has a little bit more of my four ship, but he doesn't know anything about my two ship yet. Although it's he he probably can narrow it down to one or two things. He might spend time on the compasses in this sort of stuff too. I feel like I spent way too much time. Like we kind of had a pretty good idea of where the ships were. I feel like I spent way too much time on some other stuff here. Oh, I gotta kill this Stalfos. How'd I miss that? How did I miss that again? Kaboom! You sunk my four ship. Um, I'm actually not sure what the rule on the Stalfos is. I think you probably have to kill them, though. Having them fall off the boat, I don't know that that counts. Oh, 
Oh shit, what else am I gonna do here? I gotta kill the keys up here too, damn it. Yeah, iron boots are actually really nice there. RBA that, and then I have to get back to Goron City. Goron City might be a bit tricky. What's up, Yeehaw partner? Hello, hello. Hello, Suiloic. Thanks for the luck. Enjoy the VOD. Serum fighter, I am back indeed. Okay. Love the beard, thanks. Grew it myself. Need that to hatch. Oh, both are a kaboom. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's Goron City. Okay. I'll be able to get this third sword there. We need this egg to hatch, though. So I can RBA, though. Or I would find the Skatul house. Damn it. I need to just get somewhere where it, might, where it changes. Okay, we're going to wait here. I think I'm just gonna mark this.
Kaboom! That's my three ship. Let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> Kaboom! That is my three ship. <laughs> Uh, I'm not attempting any world record now. I'm actually in a friendly race with Ball. We're doing a battleship. I'm assuming that was a free square for him. He didn't actually get those. I need it to be day. I need that egg to hatch. I should set up the RBA for it. That would be a smart thing to do in this downtime. This is going to be very difficult because I can't see. Oh, I still got it. <laughs> Muscle memory too strong. gold scale oh i do i do if i drop i well i don't need the gold scale anymore fuck it that's enough i just need the money i don't need the we still have the gold scale now but i would have lost it if i caught i need um cac now or any goron city cac or any goron city And he still needs both of these squares. It's looking pretty good for us. Unless he has the free... If he has the free square left, then it's not looking so good. And he actually got to 10 songs. And if he did, then more power to him for actually getting all 10 songs. But if he used the free square, then... Then we're pretty much going to win, I think. I don't see how we, we could lose. I need Kak or Goron City. Kak or Goron City. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Cacker go on city, please. No. It's very cute when you kaboom. Hello, Bessin. Of course I remember you. Wait, I need shit. I need this too. Thank God I remembered. Holy fuck. <laughs> I almost forgot about it. Phew. I, I would have thought I was done and then I'd have been like GG and it's like, oh wait, it's not GG. Boom. Okay. Now I need Goron City or Cac. I also need 101 rubies, but I'm not really worried about that. There, there's a 200 ruby chest in Goron City. Actually, there's also 250s that are much easier to get. Oh, hello. Yeah, I mean, a bait like that could be very interesting, for sure, but, um, 
Wait, I'm in cat. Okay, GG. Does anybody here actually own a battleship? An actual battleship? I... I need one ruby. Come on. Back in the day, you used to show these new glitches from a user on YouTube called Kazooie. Yeah, I remember Kazooie. Kazooie's one of the legends. Yeah, the box. Okay, if I... We're gonna travel all around for this one stupid ruby! There. Now I can go get the 250s. Wait, you, you can't hook this. Nice. But yeah, Kazooie found like so many of the early tricks from like 2006 to 2009. So many. Of like the core like tricks. Things like ground jump and cuckoo jump. Did a lot of research with RBA. Dot skip, obviously. He kaboomed on Fire Boss Key. Damn. Oh god. Please make it stop. 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 Thank you. Well, that has saved a lot of time. Because I, because I won? Yeah, I'm skilled when I win. When I lose, Ball was just lucky. That's that's just that's just the facts. Just over three hours. GG. GG. I was there at the time and knew about you and looked you up. <laughs> that was like two decades ago. Yeah, I've been streaming for... I'm not streaming. I've been in the OOT community for almost two decades at this point. Yeah, good ending. Good match, honestly. It really came down to... Um, Sploosh. So it was dungeons and golden gauntlets? Indeed, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really far off from that either. It was this one this one was really close. I like it. Yeah. And I think the board I mean, there really wasn't too many super gross ones. Just felt like all yeah, around I mean, the worst was ten songs. Right. The rest was fairly fairly tame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it came down to where we put our two ship. Because remember, we were discussing putting our two ship like here or like here. If we'd have put it here, oh my god, that would have been insanely close. <laughs> but putting it up here ended up being the play. Did you actually have 10 songs or did you free square that? No, no, I free square. Okay, it. yeah, me too. <laughs> but I think it would have been possible. Yeah, it didn't easily. It didn't seem like it would have been too bad. I could have gotten I could have even gotten the Song of Time, I think. So yeah. Yeah, same. Like Serenade was a bit shit because of Ice Cavern, but other right. than that. I never found Requiem, but I'm assuming I could have or would have. <laughs> oh yeah, I also never found that one. But yeah, I think it would have been it would have been possible. 
Yeah, this was a good match. This was a good one. Had a lot of fun with this this one. Felt like there was a little bit of time again where I'm like child a little bit too long and I just kind of feel like I'm stuck moving around, but there's still like these one or two things that I just want to do. Um, try Bolero. Pfft. Why would I do that? <laughs> All right, next Sunday is Easter Sunday, I believe. I don't think um, I have anything planned. So we might be able to do an Easter one. Maybe we'll try and come up with like a theme, like an Easter-themed uh, beta quest. I don't know if anybody has any ideas. Um, I'm, I'm up to try something. But All right, uh, I currently don't have any plans next Sunday. I know it's, it's Easter, but... I should be around. I'll let you know if something comes up. Okay, sounds good. I should be around as well. Okay. If you can think of any um, holiday-themed one, sometimes we, we try and come up with something, but if not, I'm sure we can come up with whatever. I mean, there's a week time. We, we might get some inspiration for something, yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it over the next week. Same. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for the match, and have a nice rest of your Sunday. Goodbye. Later. All right. Another one in the books. Pretty fun battleship overall. They tend to be pretty evenly balanced, usually the battleship ones. But yeah, I will stop the YouTube. So thanks everybody that was uh, chatting or viewing in the YouTube.